I bomber defense Pacific today doing mission 16 truck lagoon which is a surprise a counterattack um, returning us to the same level we were at operation hailstone uh, you can see everything's level three uh, with interest on comms and two times two on fire on machine guns we're gonna change iron back to eagle eye to and um, phantom strike for our perks and uh, we have a resource secondary objective here and like the others, uh, that's going to pretty much have us just selling the turrets at the end of the level. Which we won't need, considering there won't be two surprise attacks. <laughs> it's only going to be this one. Anyways, we need to repair our stuff right off the bat. And as you can see, these uh, bridges have been destroyed now, allowing things to come through. Um, the airbase has survived, so it's still going to be there to help us out. Basically, we're going to start off by enhancing the defenses we kind of started up on the outer edges of the central island there. And um, as you can see, I added another flamer turret, so I'm flaming everything constantly. All the enemy units are moving as slow as possible. And as you can see, we have these enemy units that come up from the bottom there. That's a problem for us. And we're canceling the dig in on those machine guns because they no longer uh, are good just pointing in one direction, considering the uh, angles that the enemies are coming at. As you can see, it, we're just clearing them before they enter the base, which is good enough. And the iron back is helpful because all the units that we're seeing in this level are uh, heavy hitters. So we definitely need to save the money on repairs. We're getting max interest. I kind of want to keep getting max interest so I'm not going to try to spend too much. We add another level 3 cannon to the defenses on the bottom side. Since that's where our third path comes up from. And that's the short path which damage to those units as possible in a very small amount of time. Pretty much um, from here on out it's just building and upgrading cannons. Because that's what you're gonna need is just cannon upon cannon upon cannon. problem now with those two bomb turrets down there is that uh, they're kind of receiving some damage. So you could potentially sell them and move them, or um, if you chose to place them in a different location uh, in the previous mission in Hailstone, then maybe you're better off. But either way, they're doable for now, not where they are. It's not unmanageable the amount of damage that they take. Looks like we're going to need extra anti-air, so I place another cannon in a protected spot by the base. Saving interest. Uh, however, we'll like to 
said with the, all those comms towers and that interest bonus, we don't really need to save up that much money to get that 60 every turn. Didn't earn 60 this time around, but still 37 is not bad at all. That all pretty much goes to repairs. This will help uh, also keep the repairs from taking too much of cut out of your uh, offensive budget. Or defense budget, rather. And we're going to just use some of our bombs to speed things along since we have uh, extra ones. But we're going to save four. Since we can produce a max of five. So this is the final wave. We've got these super heavily armored battleships. We'll just spend as much money as we can on cannons. And then we'll wait until the last one is almost dead. We're gonna pause and just sell off. couple guys, we turn the fast forward off. You can go ahead and sell everything down below. Because, um, there's nothing that, right, that ship's not going to be fired on by that stuff. And that got us the 200 we need without having to sell anything around the battleship or wait till the very last moment. And we're done. We've reached Lieutenant General rank now, too. <laughs>